Hey, y'all. Spirit just said July 13th. What's up? I ain't came and shake and bake today. How was everybody doing? Spirit just said July 13th. Hey, everybody. It's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a message. Coming to check the energies. I've been picking up all day. I just haven't been able to get to y'all. But I'm coming. Y'all know I'm coming. Ain't nothing but love here. Like, share, dislike, comment. Whatever floats your boat. You hear me? Hit the thumbs up when it resonates. It could be you or the energies around you, the people around you. Might coincide with what's going on with you or what's going on with one of your weeples. That's what the G said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the messages may not be about you. It may not even pertain to your life circumstances, but it's, it's, it's around you and it can leak. Oh, yeah. It can leak. It can interject itself right into your space. That's what the G said. July 13th. Cancer season, wasn't it? Ain't that cancer season July 13th? That's what they talking about, though. 141 on the clock. Guess I'm about to get a 411, hun. What's the 411, hun? This the tea. I had to take me a sip of my water. I just made me a big old cup of tea, y'all. I'm getting back into my swing of things. It's harvest season. Fall, autumn. I love this season. This season and spring. Yeah. We about to see what's going on, okay? That date may resonate with somebody. Be like, yeah. July 13th. Wait a minute. <laughs> we about to see. Queen, King, we about to see what's going on. Check these energies, see what's going on with my loved ones, my subscribers. Got something to do with your family tree. That's what the G is saying. Got something to do with your family tree, your immediate family. Um, somebody even said something. I don't feel as though you taking it to heart, but it's true. It's true. Somebody got control issues. They want you to be alert about that. Somebody got control issues. I feel like the energy is some somebody not using tact, you know, decorum. I feel like somebody needs to um, check their mail, too. Check your mail, see what's going on off in your mailbox. Gmail, too. You may have missed something. You may need to um, read something. You know, maybe a bill. Maybe some money coming. Who knows? We're going to see what's going on, though. Whatever it is, it got to do with your family tree. The immediate family tree. Somebody may be coming to you to say something. Drop something in your lap. They say it's going to be true. Don't let pride get in your way. Don't be trying to control the narrative. You might try to despise this free meal because G said it's, it's brain food. There's something to feed your soul, feed your mind, and have you, have you uh, thinking accordingly. They sent by your G's. Whoever this person is, your G's put them on your path. Have them come on and politic with you. We're going to see what's going on. Yeah. What is it? What's going on? Tell us more about this immediate family tree. Tell us more about this immediate family tree, please. Tell us more about this immediate family tree. Mm -hmm. I feel like whatever it is, it's going to have you taking flight. 
whatever this information is, it's going to be a catalyst. It's in. It's going to be the camel, the straw to break the camel's back, the G said. It's going to come. It's going to come fall in your lap. And the G's want you to surround yourself in prayer. Queen, king, they said pray on it. But all going to be well for you to take that next step. It is going to be something that's going to just push you on your destined path. Got something to do with love. Your love interest. Immediate family though. Right? Um, got to do whether or not they playing games or juggling. You know, whether or not they in and out with you. Are they truthful? Are they loyal? Are they honest? Are they faithful? It's about to be some divine intervention. Your ancestors said they near. Hootie hoo! They help too. They want you to know they love you. Whatever come fall in your lap is going to really have you thinking. You're going to gain some mental clarity about some confusion that may be surrounding you. Some confusion from the past. Some confusion from July 13th, from cancer season. Um, the G said you're going to be blessed, though. You're going to win because you're going to pass this test. You're going to pass this test. They want you to know right now you you on the wrong path. You're going the wrong way. They're like, no. Nah, why even go there? It's a dead end. Um, I feel as though you really don't know which way to go. I may be talking with someone who's on child support. Someone who was given, who has been given some wisdom and some insight into their situation and their immediate family tree. The G says you're highly intuitive about what's going on here already. Um, this is probably just a confirmation for you. That's what they said. It's probably just a confirmation for you. I feel as though what's about to be on the table is loyalty, honesty, faithfulness, the love that's supposed to be surrounded around these two energies. I think that's what's about to be put on the table. So it's more. Yeah, whatever's coming towards you, it's going to put you on your destined path. That's what the G said. It's going to put you on your destined path because you went decisive about which way you should go. If you should go backwards. And the G says you really don't want to go backwards. Um, You're not looking in your past. You got some good memories, but not some not so good memories, can, you know. You, you, you're trying to contain every bit of information I feel as though that you're getting from spirit. The G said, you're trying to you're trying to grasp these thoughts. Those thoughts are are being divinely given to you that you keep thinking about. The G said, keep pondering about it for a reason. That's because that they, they want you to make some decisions. They want you to make some decisions. Um, your ancestors said, here we go. Whoever this message is intended for, I feel like you're putting in too much into a, a romantic relationship and is you're not receiving anything back. I've your G said they don't like the way you're being treated behind closed doors. They don't like it. And it hasn't stopped. So they're about to put a stop to it. Because right now you have blinders on. You are not seeing what's being placed in front of you. They said this person coming is going to have great intentions. They want you to... Pay attention to your patterns and these this person's patterns. I guess it's your person. You want to use a new approach in life. And this person you connected to, 
Um, they still going about your relationship like it's in beginning stages. And I feel like y'all then been down the corridors of love, life, circumstances, you know. And you're not moving beyond one point. It's a playful, fake, phony energy. The G said, okay, since you want to play with minds, we got you. We going to play too. I got some Aquarius energy out here. Yeah. Um, your G is not disregarding your vision. They know that you goal-oriented. What you praying for, you just not sitting back idly by, you know, your wishes, your 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 um, personal endeavors, you know, what you want to come to fruition. You know, your, your goals that you set in life, you're not just sitting back twiddling your thumbs. You're doing a footwork. You have, you rising above a bunch. They want you to know that. Everything is attainable with your vision. What is your vision? They say that everything is attainable with your vision and they want you to work on it. Now I got some Libra energy. Got some Libra energy now. What else? You asked, right? You asked for most highest help. You prayed on your situation. You prayed on what you're going through right now, what you're experiencing in your love life. They want you to move out your own way. Don't self-sabotage. Your prayers being answered. Now, I got some Scorpio, some water energy. I feel as though there's something hidden. There's something hidden. July 13th, summertime. There's something hidden. Jesus wants you to know about it, so it's going to come fall in your lap. It's going to prove to be successful. Um, feel as though somebody got your back. They want you to always be on the safe and successful trail. Want to break these chains. These chains because you, you, you're you bonded to some petty energy blocking um, blocking your vision. That's what the G said. It's useful info. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to come in the form of a message maybe. The G said you got mail. Read the fine print and read it carefully. Yeah, read it carefully. I want you to stay alert. Um, the G says Evan did that you and your person, your love interest isn't on the same pat um same page. It's like you out to pasture. Mm-hmm. Like you don't you 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 lightweight the, the term why buy the milk when you got the cow at home? You got the cow at home, the G said, but the cow was out in in the pasture grazing. Hmm. A gavel coming down. A gavel is coming down. It's written. Mm-hmm. It's written in the stars. I feel as though this um, upheaval, because it's going to be an upheaval, it's going to have you going in a different direction. And the G said that direction is going to be your destined path. Something is going to be made known to you. It's going to probably have you feeling some type of way. The G said ain't no probably about it. Um, but they want you to center your emotions. We want you to center your emotions when this info comes towards you. Now I got Pisces out here. Um, I feel as though this water and this air energy. Um, the G said it's not worth your time. Take it how it resonates. I think religious factors um, may complicate your relationship as well. It's been too many beginnings, endings, middles to GC. That's because they don't know if they want to be in this loving, faithful, honest energy or if they want to, you know, go rogue and be a trollop, a huzzy, or a slut. The G said they fake. 
They embody everything that is untrue. They phony. And at a point in time, you know, you were in the same energy. I feel like you're shaking it off. Because misery was love and company for a minute. She said you scared to talk, though. They said you're scared to talk about your feelings. They say old ways won't open new doors. That's something that you leave in the past. Feeling as though you can't get your point across. The G said this person is a finocket head. And don't let this person make you be a finocket head. Speak your peace. Speak your peace is what the G said. Because they own games. This person doesn't want only you. Feel as though there's a fire sign involved as well. Like Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There is a fire sign involved in this scenario. G said, Is law coming down? It's going to be for your own good. person casts a lot of doubt this person that you are joined with that you connected to the g says you joined with this person and it feels like it's forceful they say very soon get ready you've got mail you will be having a discussion with someone um somebody who has peered into the situation I think it's several. Several people who have peered into your personal life. I feel as though you have com confided in these individuals. Somebody saw something. Somebody saw something. And they want to make it known to you. They want to make it known for you so you can release these shackles. I feel like it's someone's neighbor. A Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. Yeah, that's going to be the unexpected good news. I think it's just killing them softly that um I, yeah you're still dealing with this um negative energy with this deceitful ass energy that g said i feel like somebody's neighbor um pays attention to the goings and comings and it's just like this is so disrespectful this person is using you as a backup plan because you're reliable and you support them um feels like it's written in the stars right um this romance that was once kismet, that went left. I think what it is is that it's a seduction factor going on here. It's very alluring, this person. Um, they're very seductive. They have some feminine or masculine wiles that keeps you attached to G. said they want you to shake the come up off your brain and do the knowledge. That's what they said. You haven't. They said you a finocket head, and so was this person. It's putting somebody on your path. They want you to recognize these signs and pay attention. I feel as though somebody um, may have, you know, they ain't no may have. They stepped out and they didn't, they didn't use any protection. Not only did they absorb all these energies of this person that they were screwing, you know, um, they may have contracted some type of bacterial infection, as you said. Mm-hmm. I feel as though coming into union romantically, sexually with this person would be a big ass no no. The G's want you to go and and never look back. They said they said O M G just go, remove yourself. It's gonna be some family issues. It will be some family issues. The G said it will be some family issues. It might be kind of like spread it on social media. Don't feed into it. They said don't feed into that shit. They want you to be concise about what it is that you want in your life. They do. They want you to X out these people who have been betraying you mainly. This love interest. It's a lot of lessons that you still need to learn about this person. And you, the G said, they want you to they want you to Come through yo dang gone grass, yo, 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 yo dang gone grass, yo lawn. They want you to come through that. Somebody thought that the grass was green on the other side and it was not. They want you to weed your garden though. ASAP. They gonna help you though. They gonna help you. 
They gonna help you. This cat got your tongue. They said no. That's 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 gonna be a thing of the past because keeping all of these thoughts and these feelings, these desires, these wants, these needs, and these emotions bottled up. They said it's unhealthy for you. Yeah, somebody's scared to talk to you, too. I feel like it's this fire sign. This fire sign is Leo, this Aries, or this Sagittarius. They they about to bring down the gap. They do. They they want to, and they, they about to. Somebody about to bring down a big-ass goddamn gavel to let you know that you need to rise above this shit. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and keep your head held high because you already had some suspicion about your person, right? That's what the G says. You already had some suspicion about your person from the winter time. Something went on in the winter time that had you suspicious, but something most definitely went on goddamn on July 13th is what the G said with your person. Mm -hmm. With your person. Somebody know that you're not happy and they want you to pay attention to these repressed emotions. Check on your mental health. Make sure you're taking care of the love on you and do some self-care. And if need be, the G said, the G said, read a self-help book on how to improve um, your overall. You, you need a boost. You need a boost of positive energy. It's a lot of self-help books for men and women. You know, you can put it in the Google search engine, Siri, YouTube, on topics um, in which you, you think you need some help. Of what you would like to study, you know, that's that would be instrumental. The G said, they want you to pay attention. They want you to pay attention to the actions and reactions of your person when y'all communicate. You'll be able to hone in that this person has accepted new energies into their personal life. They have stepped out and tried new things. The G said, they have this summer. I feel as though this fall, this information going to fall into your lap. The G's want you to confront it all calmly because somebody is in an entanglement, a lover situation. Um, somebody got a, a husband, wife, friend, mistress, you know, take it how it resonates. It's unfortunate that whoever this is is experiencing this bullshit. Um, but your G's coming. And you know why they're coming? Because you are undeserving of this fucking deceit. That's what they said. You're not deserving of being connected with someone who really doesn't want you. Somebody who is out here looking for options. They looking for options. And they, they found some options. And they've been romantically involved with these options. The G said. Somebody may have a rust-colored car. Small sedan. Um, that's what the G said. A small sedan-like car. Light seat covers and stuff. I see pink or something. I see some type of fuzzy stuff. This is your message. Keep your head up. Chin up because they'll love to see you film. 